Hello and a very warm welcome. So I'm Tavleen and uh, now we're discussing the events tab right here. Uh, I've discussed all the other tabs in other videos. Uh, if you haven't watched those videos, I would suggest that you go ahead and watch them right away. Uh, so in the events, all right, first of all, let's understand why do we need events? Uh, just to give you one simple example uh, here, like you set up, a, let's say you set up a counter bar, right? And you want to show the real time stock status of your product. Now here it says just eight items left out of a total stock of eight units right because after you started the campaign um, none of the units have been sold and you've just set up a uh, you've just set up a counter bar and uh, you want to show that some units have been uh, have been sold for the sake of uh, building social proof right so what you can do with events is uh, that you can go on sold units and you can say sold units plus by two uh, when uh, units sold are actually between zero and zero. So what you're essentially saying is that bump up the sold units by two when the un when originally the unit sold are, sold are between zero and zero. So let me update this and show you how this will look. All right, here you go. So basically two units are now being so shown as sold units, right? Uh, because that is what we have done, that we have bumped up the sold units by two when the units sold are, sold are between zero and zero, right? So event function allows you to take a lot of decisions on the fly while the campaign is going on, right? While people are buying, right? So in the documentation, uh, all the events uh, use cases have been explained. So the first one is bump sale. You can increase regular price of the product on every X sale, right? So what this means is that let's say uh, every time a unit gets sold, you want to increase the price of the product. If that is your use case, all you have to do is go and select regular price from the drop down here. And uh, then you have to plus it and plus it by, let's say five or $10 uh, or any number that you want, right? When the unit sold is between zero and two, and then add the range, so you can add the range like this, you can add new event, right? And uh, bump up the regular price by five when units sold is between three and five, right? So by the time units sold are between six and eight, we're already, uh, the prices will already be up by uh, by $15, right, in this case. So, sim so similarly, you can uh, use bump sale in your store, you can deploy bump sale tactic in your store and increase the regular price of the product when they, as the units sold keep increasing. You just have to set this once, you do not have to go back into the system again and again to change anything or to, uh, uh, to change the numbers, right? You can just do it once and feed and that's it. Or you could offer early bird discount, right? So you could say that assign a discount amount of 40% when units sold is between zero and three. So essentially to my first three buyers, I want to offer a discount of 40%. That's the highest, right? And you can, uh, you can advertise in the same way, early bird discount available on this product. The first three buyers get 40% off. And then the next three buyers could get 35% off, right? Now, when the unit sold is between eight and 10, so the uh, so, so the eighth, ninth, and 10th buyer can get a discount of 30%, right? So the discount is strategically decreasing as the unit sold is increasing, right? So people who buy, uh, so you're, you're essentially rewarding fast action takers. So people who take fast action, who uh, the moment the campaign starts, if they buy it right away, you're offering them a bigger discount and the, the discount keeps on decreasing as the sold units keep increasing. Similarly, when the campaign is going on, you can have time sensitive discount. Uh, when the five, between five to seven hours left before the campaign ends, uh, the discount is 15%. But as uh, we proceed further and there are only two to four hours left before the campaign ends, uh, the discount is 20%. And when uh, it's about zero to one hours left before the campaign ends, the discount is highest, which is at its peak, it's 30% right uh, so this kind of a campaign could be uh, useful if you want to run a clearance sale and you want to reward you want to give maximum discount for people taking action within the last hour right so that is also a possibility then you can bump up the available units right when the units so let's say you're running a campaign on eight units right your, your stock size you've entered as eight but you've got more stock left now you want what you want to essentially do is enter available units and plus it by three and the units left is between one and one right so so uh, when the unit left is one automatically, uh, when, when the unit left is one automatically, the 
available units will be bumped up by three and it will start showing as four instead of one right so that's also possible then inventory based bump based on uh, inventory bump based on time increase inventory by x units when y hours left for sale so uh, when between zero to three hours are left for sale available bump up available units by three right so you know you're during the last three hours of your campaign and you want to increase the available units uh, by three so you can do that as well right you simply have to go here and select available units and uh, so bump it up by three or whatever right when the hours left for the campaign is between zero and two something like that right so last two hours uh, or when the units left when the unit left is between zero and one right so you can do all of this and uh, it will behave exactly how you input over here you input the parameters over here and while the campaign is going on you take actions on the fly based on your input here so this is the events tab and that's it so i uh, hope you enjoyed learning about it and uh, thank you so much for watching happy selling